Miss Ivy and today we're doing a hair video so fall is on the way and I just I want a new color you guys like, every fall I like to do my auburn ginger colors and this one looks so good so this is a lace frontal unit from yummy hair and look at these cute little boxes y'all I love their um new packaging so the specs of this hair this is their 22 inch wavy Lao raw hair this is the hd lace frontal unit it's a full unit i did go in and bleach and custom color this and i love it so much it's so gorgeous the hair is just if anybody's ever shopped with yummy before you know what i'm talking about their hair is like a luxury experience yummy is definitely in my top five for favorite hair companies so if you're looking for that luxury experience with your extensions or your wigs definitely check out yummy extensions y'all wouldn't believe how easy it was to color this unit so at first i was just gonna do an ombre or do highlights because i really wasn't sure about um coloring the entire unit i actually used the bleach bath method and it's perfect for units that you want to custom color the hair is so soft and lightweight and the unit doesn't shed like that's one thing that i really love if shedding and tangling is something that's really like up there for you with your extensions this hair doesn't do it the frontal isn't like shedding out or anything if you want to see how i color and install this beautiful hair keep on watching okay so it's day one so this is what everything looks like inside you have your little car and this is just um recommended products list this is our beautiful unit in here so let's go ahead and open it i'm really excited anytime i work with yummy i'm excited this is how the cap looks it's a nice machine sewn cap it has um adjustable straps right there so this is the hair look at that texture you guys so nice and i love that their closures actually match the same raw quality as the hair that's very very important to me my hair needs to be the same quality as the closure on my wigs and this is a 22 inch now this is what the lace frontal looks like of course i'm going to show you how i customize it like look how that just blends into the skin oh my god this unit is going to be fire okay you guys so i'm in my kitchen and we're getting ready to do our bleach bath the bleach that i'm using is my blonde brilliance and i want to use this because i want like a really good quality um bleach i don't want something to damage the hair and i really like this bleach a lot and then i'm gonna use the salon care pro 40 volume developer okay Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the warm water. As y'all can see, it's warm. Now I don't know how much I'm adding. I've never did a, ble a bleach bag. So I'm just gonna stop right there and mix. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our unit in. And don't forget your gloves. Now I'm going to take some aluminum foil, and I'm using my good foil. So I'm just going to cut, ah, y'all, that piece ain't long enough. You just want to make sure you cover it so everything can process. So this is how everything is looking. Um, I'm just going to move the product through the hair a bit. I'm gonna cover it again and check back in 15 minutes. Okay, so this is the color that we have. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a wash and I'm gonna let it dry and see if I need to do another bleach bath or if I'm gonna leave it this color. 
So I'm going to wash it and dry it. And when I come back, you guys will see it dry. Okay, you guys. So this is after the bleach bath. This is the color that I was left with. This is how the knots look. So it came out kind of like a light. Um, I don't know how to explain this color. And you kind of can't see on camera. Like it's a lot brighter in real life. But um, it definitely lifted really well. But I have to protect my knots because I am going to watercolor the rest of my unit. And I don't want my knots to be all burned. So I'm going to show you guys how I protect my knots. So I have my unit on the mannequin head inside out so the knots are exposed. I'm going to paint a thin coating of this across my entire um, lace closure on the underside and then I'm gonna let it dry before I go in and do my coloring process this is gonna help protect my knots and my lace So I'm done adding that layer of gel what I'm gonna do is allow this coating to dry okay so as you can see here our layer of gel is dry and all of our knots are protected. So these are the colors that I'm using. I'm using honey brown, Cajun spice, and ginger. Okay, so in this tub, I have, um, it's not boiling hot, but it's hot water. And this is what she looks like, okay? Very pretty. I love the ginger color. Super cute. Okay, you guys, so now we're going to go ahead and install our unit. So I do have my hair in braids straight to the back, and I have on my wig grip. I've been working on this unit for three days, and I am ready to reveal the beautifulness, okay? So we have our unit on. And already I'm loving the color. The color eats it. So next I'm gonna go in and cut the lace. This lace is invisible. So what I'm gonna do first is we're gonna install in sections. So I'm gonna do the top right here first. So I'm gonna be using my Bold Hold Liquid Gold. So I'm just gonna lift this back and then you just wanna apply a little bit of product. You don't wanna use too much and it's very tacky. That's what you want so your unit can stay in place and melt. In. I don't use glue anymore on my units um, because I feel like the glue sand out my edges or something. So I don't play with glue anymore. I only use uh, products like this. Everything should be in place like that. And now you just want to hit it with a dryer on cool. So we have the top tacked down. And now I'm just going to go side to side. You guys, my hairline is so weird. Now we're going to add some more product, not a lot.
and you just want to lay it down i love how everything just melts in like this is about to be my new favorite unit I'm like a pro at wigs, but this part still has me in a choke hold. Gonna add some product. So one side is done. It looks, y'all look so good. I. I really like this color, okay? It's it's cute. What I'm gonna do is tack down this side, and when I come back, we're gonna do our baby hairs, and then we're gonna style, okay? Okay, you guys, so we are done installing. So let's go in and do our baby hairs, and then we could style the hair. I'm gonna use my dryer just to tame the hairs, and basically that just keeps the hair in place. And you guys know I like to use my Edge Booster Gel only to do my baby hairs because they just hold in place so well and they're not flaky and not too crunchy. I love this. And now I'm gonna do my baby hair on the other side and we're gonna come right back. So I am done installing our beautiful unit. You can really see this gorgeous color. I'm gonna go wet the hair down and then I'm gonna add product and I'm gonna diffuse it and show you guys how I get my waves popping. And then we're gonna take some mousse. This is the uh, Vigoral Curls Mousse. And then after I apply this, we're gonna diffuse the hair. Okay, so I'm done diffusing the hair and it's gorgeous. I'm gonna let it dry, air dry for about 30 more minutes and I'll be right back y'all. So we have completed installing our unit and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the color. The hair is beautiful. It took to the color amazing. The hair is soft, it isn't damaged. I love the lace. Everything blends and melts so easily and the unit is like snug to my head. This unit is definitely something that I would consider a investment if you get one. So if you want a really high quality unit that you can color and customize to be perfect for your head, make sure you check that link below. Yummy has done it again. I just, I really love the unit and the quality of the hair. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Please don't forget to thumb this up, comment below, and subscribe. All the details to this hair and everything I use will be below. And I will talk to y'all on my next video.